In this demonstration, I'd like to walk through how the Edit Live Rich Text Editor can enable end users, authors of the content, to be able to easily add text, rich text, to their website. To illustrate this, I'm going to use a page that has several instances of the Web Content Viewer portlet on this page. Each of these are configured to an individual rich text item for a piece of content. I'm using the WCM inline edit capability in order to edit and manage the text within this content. I'm going to click edit so I can go in and make changes to the text. You see that it opens up a very simplistic uh, authoring template. This authoring template needs a display title and then also information in the rich text area. To invoke the rich text editor, I simply click on the rich text area or I can click on the link at the bottom. That uh, loads the Edit Live applet. The Edit Live editor then presents a display much like a Microsoft Word type of experience for the user, including menus with uh, options for actions, as well as a toolbar. Any of these items can be customized and configured uh, for the editor itself overall or um, by different user groups. One of the nice features that this particular editor can be expanded into a full screen. This allows a little bit more versatility and a larger area, area for viewing for the author. Authors uh, a lot of times work with the content for the website in Microsoft Word. So it becomes a, a, a very common scenario for them to want to uh, manage and insert content from a Word document into their website or web page. And that can easily be, be done with Edit Live. I can copy from a Word document. So copying with a Control C from the Word document you can then insert that into your rich text edit field. And it retains the uh, styles and links and even pulls in any of the images that have been added and that were inserted into the Word document. Another feature with Edit Live is the capability to control your styles. This is very important to um, a, lot of, a lot of authors because you don't want to um, allow in, or the authors to put just any styles. You want your styles to conform to your website styles. Uh, and the um, Edit Live editor even goes one step further. Uh, you can specify the style sheet within your authoring template and then only those styles are available to select from. In addition, with Edit Live, it will also only display styles that are relevant to the particular um, place within your editing field. For example, this is just a, a textual type area, and so all of the textual type area styles will be available. Any styles that are specified for um, you know, tables or um, lists of content or, or list of items will not be available. However, if I go down to uh, this list item, you'll see that now I will get the list styles as well. So there's, um, yes, here we go. There's the list item styles as well. And those are ones that are marked in the style sheet specifically for the, uh, the, that particular type of encoding within the site.
So you notice also that there's spell checking. The spell check uh, has detected several different things. Um, I can, if I uh, have something that isn't uh, quite right, I can uh, click on that and it will then um, give me some options, including, um, including options um, for synonyms as well with a th thesaurus and also to add to a dictionary. And you notice that there is an undo and redo uh, capability. We saw how images can be added in either from a Word document or you can insert them directly from the, um, uh, your desktop or a reusable uh, image component from the content management system. So to insert an image, you can uh, select the insert button and you can insert um, a number of, an image from a number of sources. Uh, you can get something from your desktop. You can also insert a reusable image from your um, uh, your library itself. So you can have a web content library that has um, some reusable images and you can easily add those and notice as you're selecting them uh, you see a display of what the image is. In addition to to that you can uh, insert back into that and you can actually insert from the desktop as well by simply picking a uh, image file from there and then you can actually add this to um, the repository if you would like to do that as well to make it a shareable image or you can uh, just click it in there for this use um, in addition to that there is an image editor the image editor will allow you to do things like crop or size the image um, and also uh, rotate it as well. Uh, linking to content is another uh, feature that is uh, very useful for the authors. To insert a link to another um, piece of content, you just simply uh, go to that insert and um, create a link to WCM content. Now that link can either be a, a hard-coded URL or you can browse for content that you want to link to. And maybe I would like to uh, link to another piece of content that also contains information about Edit Live. So I find uh, the name of that, comp uh, that piece of content and I include uh, what I would like to display for the text and then it will insert that link. Once we um, restore that to the authoring template we can then save and close this item and we'll see our changes including a link to the other piece of content. One of the last things I'd like to show you about Edit Live is uh, some of the more advanced capabilities to track changes. So once again I'll open up our editor and open up Edit Live. Track changes can be enabled uh, by simply clicking on that toolbar item. Once that is um, in effect you can see that um, the changes then are being recorded uh, and there's a change marker uh, over to the uh, left hand side and you have the capability to accept or reject changes as well. Uh, then you can, always, you can also review the changes as well and it indicates who has um, inserted that text and made those changes. When you uh, edit then um, and hover over that particular change, you'll see the indication as to who made that change and the date. If you'd like to find out more information about Edit Live, go to their 
website www.efox.com. This concludes the demo.